Welcome back to my channel, Miss Taylor 1976. The topic of today's episode is detachment. Being a loner, you must be detached. Have you ever given more favors than you've ever received? Did your phone ever blow up with people that wanted to talk to you to discuss their problems? But whenever you had a problem that you wanted to discuss, they didn't give you back the same attention or the same kind of care. I recently had a situation, and uh, I won't say who it was, but I was making steps to be more involved in what they're going through by asking follow-up questions, which is what people who care, in my opinion, do. They want to know the details. What did that do? Who did you talk to? How did that feel? Do you feel better? Do you feel worse? I went through a whole litany of investigating questions to someone, and when they came back to me to say, well, how are you doing? I said, not good. Too long to text, but not good. The conversation stopped after that comment. There wasn't a, I'm gonna call you to talk about it. There wasn't a, oh, I'm sorry, let's talk about this more. What's happening, what's doing? There was just an immediate stop of communication. Mind you, we had been going back and forth with text when I was gasping the questions because I was concerned. But So this is an example that confirmed, you know, you, in my opinion, of how life works. You have to stop relying on outside people for support. You are your own cheerleader. You are your coach. You are your, and yes, there will, peop, there will be people along the way that will pick up that for you. For instance, like-minded people attract like-minded people. I can't be a great person and everybody I know is an asshole. That, that's not how the universe works. Either I'm an asshole and I'm attracting assholes Oh, I'm a great person and the people in my life over exceed expectations. And that's where I'm coming to. I had to detach myself from giving that person expectations on the way the communication was supposed to go, right? That's where I, that was my bad. I believe that me asking questions would inspire the questions to also come back to me. And it did. That was where I messed up. That's why I'm a loner now, right? Because all the favors, all the promises that I doled out, I believed I had a savings account of favors from people and friends and relatives and family. And guess what? People aren't willing to do anything for you that's inconvenient to them. Although they'll want some inconvenience in favors. I was devastated and heartbroken once I've come to the conclusion that you're going to always have to be the better person for you. You're not going to find that in other people don't care about you as much as you care about you. And that doesn't mean that you shouldn't care about people. It just means that not everyone deserves not even deserve, you don't deserve anything in this life. You get what you earn. And that's where we're coming with this relationship. People don't earn relationships anymore. And I had to stop overproving myself, overproving myself to have no reciprocity, to still feel as if, you know, I win, ain't nobody in the audience for me to thank. There's no one in the audience with go signs for me. There's not a, there's not a party afterwards. When I lose, there's nobody with hugs. There's nobody with the pat on the back. There's nobody with a, yo, get them next time, kid. You got to be that. You got to be that 125%, maybe more. And that doesn't mean take your eyes off the prize when other people are winning and not be included in that. It's just to say that do not suppress yourself. Curb, you know, check your ego. Yeah, I gave that to them. It's going to come back to me. Maybe not from them, but somebody else. Or it's not going to come back to you when you just got good karma in the world. What am I going to say? But I had to detach from giving people expectations because I've been heartbroken by that. And I think the reason I started this channel is to get over that heartbrokenness. I have a lot of wisdom. I had a lot of experience, but I'm still dumb as a mug. 
And that keeps me grounded and that keeps me learning and that keeps me growing. So for everybody that's, you know, maybe a little upset that life didn't work out the way you expected people to be there for you in life, because I, I go through those days too. If you think you're important, then that's already 100% of all you need to feel important by. That's 100% of who you need to feel important to. Loved by yourself, important to yourself, but not to the point of arrogance where you don't recognize or you at least don't accept that other people have some value. I'm always willing to participate, but I'm just not willing to have an inequity relationship. I give what I take and I take what I give, nothing more and nothing less. So that is my spiel on detachment. Thank you so much for checking in and I hope to see you again soon. Like, subscribe, share my page. Please donate, I am doing the best that I can to come up with more content and to be more, I guess, entertaining. Entertaining, because this is fun for me. This is also breaking me out of my shell of being a hermit. Being a loner and being a hermit just doesn't work. So, until next time, this is Miss Taylor 1976. Keep healing.